the next episode, written by Russell T. Davies in the second season of Doctor Who, was Love and Monsters. I don't even know where to start on this one. I mean, this was... I mean, this... I mean, this episode made Boomtown look like a masterpiece. You know, I, I just... I, I don't even know what they were thinking when, when they wrote this. You know? Um... I mean the whole the whole the whole idea of a Doctor Light episode. I mean, first of all, I really don't think that's such a good idea. After all, you know, I mean, it worked. I mean, it worked well with Blink. But, but I mean, I, I mean, I guess it's an okay idea if you, if it's done right, you know. But I mean, it's it's, it's one of those things that's really tricky, you know. Like, just, I mean, because I mean, Russell T Davies, he went he went about he went he went the complete opposite direction that Stephen Moffat went with Blink. See, Blink, with Blink, Sally Sparrow was not going out of her way to try to find the Doctor. She just kept, you know, by no fault of her own, kept running into this stuff. You know, it was by, it, it was the Doctor that was putting this stuff in front of Sally, you know, for, for a reason. But in, uh, Love and Monsters, you had this, this, this Elton John guy, or whatever his name was, Elton or whatever. You know, and he's just like, I mean, it, I don't understand why they, why this whole, uh, Russell D. Davies had to make the Doctor out to be this superhero kind of guy, you know, and that that's been that's been a, uh, another repetitive theme throughout the series. I mean, at this point, I was I realized that that's kind of the direction he was going with it. It was he, they were they were making the Doctor out to be like this superhero or something. Yeah. Which I mean, in, in some ways he is, you know, he is, but he's 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 like he's supposed to be which what they call an unsung hero. He's supposed to be a a hero that's that doesn't just does not get recognized for for his efforts. You know, I and mean, that's all. That's the way it's always been in the original series. I mean, he. I mean, it's. All, I can't even count on my fingers how many times he saved the world. You know, and other worlds. But I mean, they, he doesn't. He's. He's not uh, worshipped by. You know, for it. You know, and he doesn't have all these. Uh, these uh, obsessed kids chasing after him, trying to find out everything they can about it. You know, like in Love and Monsters. And um. Uh, I, I just there's just so much I don't like about this episode that I, I'm. I, I don't even know where to start. You know, like the I don't even like like the, I know the monster was not CGI, and so but I don't even like the way he looked. I mean, it, it was just like to me, it was kind of like that that little blue guy that I was talking about in End of the World, and it was just like this giant pudgy dude, you know, and it was just I, I didn't I don't I didn't get that. I don't understand why aliens to so Russell T Davies why aliens have to look like that. Why they have to look so ridiculous, you know. Because <sighs> um, I remember, I remember watching the episode. I remember watching it when it first aired, and I remember how disappointed I was that I sat through 45 minutes of of that, only to see the Doctor and Rose make an appearance at the very end of it, like in the last five or ten minutes of the episode. You know, and I was just like. And I think they had like one scene at the very beginning of the episode. Well, it was in the the pre-title sequence, you know. And then that was it. That was the only time Doctor was an episode. I mean, again, though, I understand that it was it was intended to be a Doctor Light episode, but that's. You, you, I mean, I, I, I'm honestly I'm speechless. I, I don't I really don't know what to say about that one. I hated it. It was it was, it was horrible. You know, and I know that I know that I'm, I've I've read comments, you know, and I I saw where uh, some fans liked it, you know, but. I'm willing to bet that the fans that like that episode have never seen an episode of the original Doctor Who before. You know, because I mean, ask any any uh, ask any fan, ask any person that's that's watched the original series of Doctor Who, you know, and then started watching the new series, and you won't find any of them that like Love and Monsters. Not none of them will like that episode because it was not. I mean, in the original series, there was only one episode. I think in the, in the entire length of the original series, there was only one episode that did not have the Doctor in it, and it was uh. I can't remember. It was it was supposed to be leading up to a Dalek episode that was shortly after that episode, but it was it was only and it was only like two episodes. It was only two parts. This is when the episodes were divided into 25 minutes, so there was only like an hour, you know. And that and that's over a period of 40 years, you know. I mean, I really don't know what else to say about that episode. I I have nothing. I have nothing good to say about it, and there's so much stuff bad about it that I dislike that, I, I, I mean, I'm not going to be able to get all that in this video, you know, so there's no point in me, you know, bottom line, I don't like it, I hated it.